All right, I just got back last night from Orlando, Florida, from the Women in Aviation Conference. And let me tell you, this is my second year there. Last year, I was the keynote speaker. This year, I was part of the authors with Literary Avatrix, also known as Liz Booker, who does book reviews on women authors, and she is fantastic. Go check her out on LinkedIn or on Instagram. And I will tell you, I got to catch up with some ladies that I had not spoken to in over a year. I got to see them face to face. They gave me a status update. And then there were some people, some women that I met for the first time. And I've, I had fantastic conversations with each and every one of you. So thank you so much for stopping by. Those days that I was there, it compelled me to do this post. And this one, I'm gonna pull out a lesson learned from my book, Shatter in the Sky, while going to the stratosphere taught me about self-worth, sacrifice, and discipline. And for all these women who work in the aviation field, and maybe women who work in other fields, in the trade or, or wherever, sometimes it is a male-dominated field. And sometimes you interact with people in this industry and you're perceived a certain way. You could be perceived as aggressive, as argumentative, you're not friendly, you have an attitude. Your other words I can't say here. All because you have this passion and fire and it's perceived differently than your male counterparts. And I learned this early on when I was in the Navy that when these problems arise because of your attitude or the perception and it causes friction within the workplace, Sometimes you are not the problem. Sometimes people find it hard to deal with someone who's different that expresses in the same way as those that are in the industry and it makes them uncomfortable. And that's okay. But what's not okay, it's not your job to make people feel comfortable, especially when you're performing at a level that far exceeds most people in that arena and you do your job well and you just come in to do your job. I'm here to tell you today, the problem is not you. When I was a Navy Lieutenant and I was on my second deployment, I was a detachment maintenance officer. I was in charge of one aircraft and a crew of enlisted person, maintenance personnel. And I will tell you, after that deployment, well, during that deployment, I had some rub with my officer in charge. There were some things and some decisions that he made that put my maintenance team in jeopardy. And I almost saw one of my maintenance guys lose his life. So I took a little issue with that. But then when we came back from the deployment, I kind of withdrew because of the things that were going on in that squadron. And I was being painted as a picture of someone who didn't get along. Even though I was performing well, I was assistance weapons tactics instructor. I was a, a check pilot in the H-60. I was doing all these great things as a mid-grade lieutenant. But all, there was a lot of background noise caused by this one individual to paint me in a light that was not favorable. And I tell this story because I think a lot of women have felt this at one time or another. And what I am here to tell you, the problem is not you. It's that people are uncomfortable around you because you're strong and you're competent. And you got it going on. So my recommendation for some things when I encounter this and I tried to navigate this my first time. Number one, recognize if or if not you are the problem. And what I did is I solicited my peers and I talked to people that I respected in the squadron and asked them for candid, honest feedback. I wanted to know. If you work in an industry that is male dominant, you have thick skin, so you could take the criticism. And if you find out that you're getting positive feedback, you're doing a good job, your attitude is right on point like everyone else, then 
it's not your problem. It's their problem. And that's okay. And you can discuss that with the person or you can discuss that with the person in front of a witness and make sure everything is okay. But what's not okay is that they don't respect you. They try to put you in positions or talk chatter behind your back to paint a negative picture about you. They try to say things to, to diminish you, to dim your light, to dim your enthusiasm. Because it will over time. And it will wear on you like something else. Don't let it get to that point. And if it continues, reach out to mentors who could potentially maybe find something else where you are valued and appreciated. Because you don't deserve it. You're good at what you do. You're better than most. And you don't have to put up with that. So I'm here to empower you. The problem is not you. It's probably them.